I've look at the radar right now. A lot of colors on that screen as a slow-moving, powerful nor'easter makes its way towards southern New England today and tomorrow. Expecting high winds, rain, flooding, and even the possibility of some snow tonight. All right, now we want to show you a live look at our new Port Harbor cam, Rhode Island coastline, under a coastal flood advisory and a flood watch and a high wind warning, all expected to go into effect. Things will be much worse along the Massachusetts coastline. While preparing for the storm, Governor Charlie Baker actually recommended Plum Island residents evacuate because of the risk of some uh, severe flooding. We do have pinpoint weather team coverage of this nor'easter on this Friday. Julianne Lima, live in Narragansett, she's checking out the conditions there. Michaela McDonald's also in Breaking News 1 with an update on the commute. But first, here is Michelle breaking down what is a pretty complicated forecast. Well, you know, it's going to be just a lot of different hazards here with heavy rain, with strong damaging winds, with the potential for a significant coastal flooding, and the rain already falling through the night. In fact, we're getting close to a quarter of an inch of rain in New Bedford and Providence and Westerly, and nearly a half an inch of rain already in Plymouth and Martha's Vineyard. And you can see the heavy rain over much of Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts right now. So along the coastline, Route 1, 95, West Warwick, all dealing with some of that heavy rain and starting to lift up through the East Bay as well. And along 195 through Fall River, New Bedford. And if you're tracking up to Boston, want to plan on a slow commute. Farther to the north and west, wintry weather, accumulating snow and sleet already in parts of the Berkshires and northwestern Connecticut. Area of low pressure, our storm center has been taking shape through the night. It's been strengthening. In fact, one of the signs that this is strengthening is you can see those little white flashes. Those are lightning strikes over the ocean waters well to our south and east. And another sign that storm is strengthening, the winds increasing. We've seen some gusts over 40. Uh, frequent gusts, though, between 30 and 40 miles per hour right now. And the high wind warning, not set to start till 10 o'clock in the morning. So late morning through the first part of the night is when I expect the strongest winds to be. Long duration here with this slow moving and potent storm. And the other big concern for flooding is uh, heavy rainfall that could lead to some street and poor drainage flooding, not just for the morning commute, but during the evening commute as well. And in anticipation of that heavy rain and river water levels rising and reaching flood stage, the National Weather Service has already issued a flood warning for the Patuxent River. We're expecting to see the potential for moderate flooding there. We could also see some minor to moderate flooding around our high tide cycles today and tomorrow. The first high tide is coming up shortly here at about 8 o'clock in the morning. Coastal flood warning for eastern Massachusetts. They're expected to get hammered here. Could see some record setting coastal flooding from the north shore of Boston down to Cape Cod and Nantucket. So our timeline through the next 24 to 36 hours. We're looking at rain and wind increasing today. Northeast gust to 50 miles per hour as we head into the mid morning and late morning in the afternoon. That's when we're looking at torrential downpours, some flooding rainfall possible, as well as damaging wind gusts. And those will continue into the nighttime hours tonight. We could still see some gusts over 50 into Saturday morning. We also are watching for the potential changeover or at least some mixing with some snow and some sleet. We may go back and forth. Accumulations very tricky with this storm. We have the potential for a couple of slushy inches, mostly on the grass. We'll talk more about that risk coming up. All right now that we go out to the roads with Melissa and a pinpoint traffic update. Well, it wasn't an easy commute this morning, several hours as I headed into work. And if you're making your way out the door this morning, here's a look at the conditions you're going to experience. Only going to get worse with heavier rain, more powerful winds. This is 195 right over by the 95 split. You're noticing a lot of raindrops on the cameras. I also have seen quite a few of our traffic cameras shaking this morning in those winds. If you are making your way out the door along 95 South, I am still keeping an eye on a crash along 95 South in Pawtucket. It's right over near exit 29. Traffic is still moving OK in this area not noticing a whole lot of congestion this morning. It's pretty quiet conditions. If you're headed over the bridges, you're going to want to be especially careful due to those high winds. 65 miles per hour right now over the Braga Bridge. Really going to want to slow your speeds down, though. You don't want to be moving that fast right now. If you're uh, making your way into Providence, I'll have a closer look at your drive times coming up. Time now 604 and our severe weather alert coverage continues on this Friday with a look at some of the conditions in southern New England. Let's send things over to Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima. She is live this morning in Narragansett. 
Danielle and Patrick, what a difference a day makes. This time yesterday, it was warm, the skies were clear, maybe a light breeze, but the water was relatively calm, and that is certainly not the case this morning. Check it out now that it's getting lighter outside. You can see just how rough the surf is. The tide has been creeping in all morning long. We're just two hours away from high tide, and you can see the waves are already crashing against the shore. Now, it's been raining steadily all morning long, and it is starting to pick up. The wind, again, is the biggest concern out here. It's blowing the rain sideways and just causing really hazardous conditions. I haven't seen really anyone out this morning. An hour ago, there was one runner who was moving rather quickly, maybe heading home, cutting his workout short this morning. But again, the surf is just very rough. The Coast Guard is warning people to stay off the water today. Do not go out. And I did call. They said there have been no reported incidents overnight so far, but they are on high alert during this dangerous storm. So, of course, stay with us all morning long as we continue to monitor conditions here by the seawall in Narragansett. Reporting live in Narragansett, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News. All morning long, we'll be giving you a look at what you can expect if you're heading out on the roads this morning, maybe to work or school. And Michaela McDonald, she is in Breaking News 1, tracking that morning commute for us. And where are you now, Michaela? Good morning, Danielle and Patrick. Right now we are in Cranston. We are on Broad Street right now approaching the Patuxent River. I'll give you a look at what we're seeing out on the roads right now. Uh, mostly, you know, very wet roadways. We have seen some deep puddles uh, in certain parts of town, uh, which can be slippery if you if you go through them too fast. Uh, but it's been a very soggy start to the morning. We've been seeing, you know, rain all morning and also have felt some of the wind when driving on the highways and driving over the Braga Bridge and the Highway Bridge earlier. You could definitely feel the wind shaking the car a little bit there, uh, but we've also seen signs on the highways, both in Rhode Island and Massachusetts, warning about the rain and the high winds that are expected today. And we'll continue to monitor the conditions out here for you from the roads live in Breaking News 1. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News. And as we've been mentioning, the wind from this storm could lead to some uh, power outages. Yeah, Pete's in on this Friday morning, and as soon as he got here, we sent him outside. <laughs> <laughs> of course, right? Yeah, we do have uh, some heavier rain starting to fall now, getting a little breezy here in the pinpoint weather yard. You know, I just checked uh, with the National Grid. Right now, just a handful of power outages in Rhode Island, not too many, but up near Boston in the Quincy area, now over 1,000 power outages there. So that's something we'll watch carefully. Uh, National Grid tells us they have 140 crews on standby should more trees fall and more uh, power go out. Let's check on some video that we got earlier this morning where we had the uh, bucket trucks stop by the Crown Plaza in Warwick. You can see a number of those trucks were set up with crews ready to handle any tree damage that could bring down power lines. Now, if you want to send in a reporter, um, check in with National Grid. Here are the phone numbers to call. National Grid customers in Massachusetts and Rhode Island can call 1-800-465-1212. Eversource customers in Massachusetts should call 1-800-592-2000. In the meantime, I've been keeping a close eye on flights at TF Green Airport. The latest check is that we have nine departures now canceled, most of those across the Northeast and Mid-Atlanta. We had several canceled to uh, Newark, I believe, also into the D.C. area. So make sure you check ahead if you're headed out from TF Green. Also, the Block Island Ferry does expect that service will be impacted, but they'll be making that final decision no later than 7.30 this morning. Um, if you want to check on that, you can obviously check our website. We have the flight tracker, a lot of updates coming in throughout the day over on WPRI.com. For now, in the Pinpoint Weather Yard, I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News. Pete, thanks so much. And count on the live Pinpoint Doppler 12 weather team to keep you covered during this severe weather alert.